Hi, my name's Ellen. I'm from Ebrook Osteopathy and Sports Clinic. And today I'm going to show the Birmingham Women's and Children's Hospital Sonography and Radiography departments and structures you can be doing to help with your shoulder, back and neck pain. And so to start with, we're going to start with your neck, if that's okay. So the first one's very easy. So you're going to just pop your hand on top of your head. You're going to make a nice double chin. So you're lovely with your double chin. And then you're going to look downwards like that. So you're drawing down. You should feel it pull along the back of your neck there. And the next thing you can do is to target the side of your neck. So we want to pop your hand back on your head this way. And then this time you're going to sort of draw it across to the side. And if you want, you can look down that way as well to make it a bit more stronger. If you want to make it even harder, you can hold onto the edge of a chair. So you fix this arm and then you're pulling across that way. And it just adds a bit more of a stronger stretch for you. And the next thing you can do is targeting is for like decompression. So we're trying to open up the space at the back of your neck there. So you're going to have two hands on the back of your head like that and then you're going to very slightly draw them up so you're opening up your shoulders and looking up. So you lick your lift upwards almost like <laughs> The next one is going to be targeting sort of stretching out your low back from a seated position which is quite handy. So the first one if you get any sort of dizziness or like blood pressure issues it might not be the best one for it but you can adapt it to suit you. All you're going to do is sit down, you're going to pop your hands on your knees you're going to slide all the way down towards your toes and sort of let it hang there. If you want even more of a challenge, you can relax your sort of neck down like that. And if you want more of a challenge, you're going to twist to the side and then twist to the other side. And then an adaption of that is seated like this. You're going to use the back of your chair. You're going to hold on to the back of it there. Take your other arm, put it on the side and twist that way. So you're looking over the same shoulder. Hold it for a couple of seconds. And so you come back around and do the other side. Uh, and this next one is to sort of target your shoulder blades and your scapula. So what you're going to do is you're going to pop your hands together like this, elbows together, tuck that chin back in so you've got a nice double chin, and then you're going to draw downwards. So you should really focus on seeing it open up the back of your shoulder blades there. Hold it for a couple of seconds and then bring it back up like that. <laughs> Tricep. Triceps, oh yeah. And then for your triceps, what you're going to do Hang is... Hang on, just start that tricep one again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so then to target your triceps, which are going to be quite important for you guys, you're going to just basically pop your hand on the back of your head over your opposite shoulder, and then you can use your other hand to support it and just very gently guide it backwards. And you should feel it pulling along. Again, just go to a comfortable range that works for These are some more sort of rotation ones for your upper back. So what you're going to do is feet sort of shoulder width apart, you can have nice soft knees to so slightly bent and then you're going to pop your hands on top of the wall just to where it's comfortable for you and then you're going to push away and look down while you do it. Again you can play around with the height so that will just access different parts of your shoulders and if you want again a bit of a challenge you can turn yourself to the side like this and then work your way back up to there. And then if you want to target your sort of pet muscles, you'll need a corner of the wall or a door frame if you've got a door frame. And all you're going to do is, let's go this way. You're going to pop a hand up like that. You can either do 90 degrees, you can do higher. It's again up to you what feels comfortable. And then you're going to get into a nice lunge position. And you're going to just lean forwards. And if you can, what's even better is if you can sort of tuck your sort of pelvis in. So you're going to rock this way while you lean forwards. And then you turn around and do the opposite arm as well. Okay. Um, and then the last one is just a pelvic tilt. So just showing it to you standing because it's a little bit easier and it's probably more relatable for at work. All you're gonna do again is have your feet fluffy about shoulder width apart, knees nice and soft, and you're gonna pop your hands on top of your hips. And what you're gonna do to start is you're gonna roll your pelvis in that way, so it's almost like you flatten it against the wall. And then you're gonna go the other way and sort of push yourself away from the wall so you're creating a little arch in your back, hold it for a couple of seconds and then bring it back to neutral. What you can do as well is you can add a little bit of breathing into it so you can either inhale when you're flattening in this way and you can exhale when you're sort of arching it away from the wall. Um, so these stretches were designed to try out at work so they've been used for making things quite easy with just a chair and a wall so things you'll have access to. I do them quite often if you can. It's quite fun to sort of play a game, see how many people notice you can sort of have a challenge, see how many of you are doing the stretches throughout the day. Um, and then obviously the more you do them, the more benefit you'll feel from them.